the transmutation of the physicality and the completion of it need for, for cosmic rays. Our team have built the system, are building the system, and we feel the existence of cosmic rays. Once you start touching cosmic rays, you become of a different creature of understanding of the universe. Not you don't get heads and tails, but creature in knowledge, creature in um, understanding of the truth about the creation. A lot of detachment, but a lot of attachment to the new understanding, to the understanding. So, as I said, we have started the transmutation process. And we will gradually, in the next few weeks, test expansion of it, how and what we can do, and then come to the full transmutation. For us, once we establish one, is how we can move that the seven billion. How we can bring that knowledge across to seven billion. That no one abuses of it. And everybody has access to the same thing. In the present situation, you get on the plane in Linz, you come off the plane in New York, you had a cancer here, you have a cancer there, you had a ILS here, you still have ILS there. Nothing changes in your brain position. But with this technology, it does. Because we expand the energy package, which is within the center of you, which has to cross your body. And then we make an envelope that our technology can pick up that envelope and transmute you on the present communication lines of what you call mobile phones to a position destination. In the future, there is no more effect. We learn it through our, what we call, dimension of the energy inside us. Then, in this position, when the field crosses, it's like when you put, in a way, um, materials in the microwave. Nowadays, they put tomatoes to a special rays that they don't rot anymore so fast. We put bodies through MRI, and we see the field shows us where the tumor is, where the damage to the brain is, where you've broken the leg. You put you through CT scan in the massive amount of x-rays taken in layers from your body, we see what is the shape of you inside you. Now, instead of rays coming from outside to take these scans and pictures, now your soul going from inside out to create that envelope. The way you go for radiotherapy, radiation therapy, they see a tumor, they see something, and they target radiation on it. And they say, we destroyed the cell, we radi radiated it, and it's done. We do it in nuclear industry quite a lot, radiating create conditions of explosion or whatever. So we deliver energy to it, and we change it. And the doctor says, you had the radiation therapy, and the tumor is gone. Or we killed it, and then in time the body will get rid of it. Now, the radiation comes from your soul, going out, and the tumor is on the way. The broken leg is on the way. The broken heart is on the way. The emotion of pain is on the way, as it radiates out to create that envelope. Now you understand how it works. Today, you go to a hospital to get radiation therapy for your cancer. Now you get the radiation therapy from your own soul. But the emotion which created it has is connected to the same center. It's not that you find, you get rid of that tumor. You solve the reason why that tumor created by the same, the same sun, by the same structure which radiates out. Because if there is a fault in the <clears throat> envelope, what you put in it will fall out in transportation. It has to be perfection. So, when the body of the man, when the soul of the man expands to that position, like a radiation therapy, 
crosses everything. And everything has to be balanced. It brings balance through the energies of it. And it knows what it should be because the master on the head which created it through emotion says, there is a disbalance here. I used to hate, now I love. And love was a corner soul of the creation. So if you create a tumor out of hate, it has no balance to sit. The envelope has to be complete. Many of you <coughs> came to Linz and we put you through it, and I could not tell you this. You have a problem. I cannot go anywhere. It doesn't work on me. What is wrong inside you through the emotion and the physicality? The beauty of it is we cannot transmute a broken envelope. We cannot send because the fields will unbalance and they move and they create other problems. You only can travel when the soul, the envelope is clean, packed, sealed. Nothing can fall out. Nothing can fall in. It doesn't got a weak point that it can get torn and tear apart in transportation. It's you who makes that envelope, not us. We create a condition that conditions it to expansion of it. Go back to all my teachings. I always said, solar system or the universe can expand only to the size and the fields that this environment allows it to expand into. Because the other fields control it. The other fields sit on top of it because they need their existence. Now in our systems, we control that condition of containment. And once we control it, because it's on the magnetic field, because it's on the line of the field of the physicality, we can shoot you down the mobile line. I cough, you hear. I laugh, you hear. But you cannot see if I frown. You cannot see if I twinkle. In the plasma technology, the twinkle and the frown, everything is there. You go in <clears throat> with the cancer, you come out. If the process is completed, without the cancer. You go in with mental condition, in transmutation, you come without it. And if you have that problem, you cannot travel. If you have a conflict inside you, you cannot create that envelope. I sat, I watched, people came in and went out. I could not do, it didn't happen to me. There is something wrong inside you that does not allow your soul to create that envelope. You have a different understanding, you have a you have come in with a mean thought, as I call it. I've come here, I don't believe in it, but I want to show that it doesn't work. You deceived yourself, not the system. The guy before you came in with a pure heart, with understanding what he wants to do. <clears throat> and the one after you, how come you don't fit in? The problem is you, not the system. The problem is, your integrity of understanding to totality. So, we had to test that when we put somebody with a cancer in New York, lands in Linz, does he have a cancer anymore? Or he wants to keep that cancer because there is a condition that he has to prove to himself psychologically. Or she has a breast cancer that he has to do it psychologically, she hates someone, that hate has to transfer to love, and the cancer will find a solution in dimension of physicality. You end up in Linz, you still have a tumor, but it's not malignant anymore. We did not vanish the tumor on the way. We exchanged the source, we elevated the source, the elevation of the source. So, as part of this, in the development of the technology, we are testing that elevation and dimension of interaction of the feeling, emotion, and physicality. You might have assignments, you might have pockets. You might have every 
are the condition. But this is not our job. We want to see if we can expand your soul, if we can allow you to expand your soul to the limitation of the envelope we give you, and then see how your body reacts to this expansion. You call it healing, you call it curing, that's your problem. What we are interested is in how we expand, how we can control that expansion, and in a transition time from New York to Linz, how your energies will interact with the system, with the dimensions, and with everything else. We want to know how things will go, and we want to know how things sit. And in this process, you call it whatever you like. Healing, processing, curing, we, that's your problem. We create transition and transmutation of the fields of the body of the man. And we'll find out, in time, man will change. In time, the humanity, through progress of understanding, will change to its own dimension and direction. And in time, us, as those who understand part of the knowledge, will come to teach the others, to understand the work of their own soul, to understand the work of others. At the moment, everything has become physical, and everything has to be done in hospitals by doctors who read a few books, and they become gods. Now the God is within you, which is your soul. And the creator of you, the creator of the existence of physicality of you, is within you. You can become the doctor of yourself. We don't do anything, you find the solutions. We don't do anything, your soul fix what is wrong inside. This, this week, I'm sure the ladies on the line, she came to our doctors, highly educated, a PhD. She cannot walk. She cannot take steps. She can do a small dragging foot. Talking to her, the doctors even have I've never heard before, is screwing her big toe to the one next that she can keep her balance or whatever. She should put a pin between two toes. She had to move house to live in a one floor apartment because she cannot do anything. She hasn't walked or in a way for nearly two years, collectively five years. She has to go through a pain structure to get up, to stand up, even trying to take the step. Highly educated, hands cannot bend, fingers don't touch. It's like putting an orange in between the hand. She's been like this for years for past two years, and gradually she goes into condition that she will not be able to move anything. <coughs> With the doctors, she's been put through the process for 30 minutes. Then we asked her, can you walk? She stands up. She walks, can't hear her voice clearly. She says, I'm walking, I don't want to stop. I haven't walked for years. I have no pain. And she walks around the table and like dancing. And he said, just calm down. He says, I don't want to, I haven't walked. 
this is something impossible in 30 minutes. It's not a 30 minutes. It's that millisecond. The soul decides to perfect the walk, the man to walk. So the psychological and the physical just follows. That 30 minutes is where that one millisecond of elevation of the soul will come. We stop. Comes on the next day. The joy, the happiness of being able to walk the day before was overwhelmed. Go through the same process again. And she's walking. She doesn't want to sit. We ask her to run. She says, I cannot run. Asking the question. My toes have been pinned together. My ankles have been locked because I was not supposed to walk ever again in my life. What about the hand? The fingers can touch each other. For the first time. The emotion, the process wanting to live, is so strong. It has rejuvenated itself. Life is there again to live. We asked her, can you go for a run in the next couple of weeks? I can't run. My toes are pinned. My ankle is locked. But now, they have to take it off. We created the envelope. The scanning, the evolution, is done by the soul, by the energy within inside the man, not by us. We are literally a DHL office. We are a post office. We know where to develop the envelope and how we cannot carry a letter. You have to put it in an envelope that we can carry. You have to box it. We create a box. We, we are provider of that box. We are not the curer. We are not the doctors. We are not anything. We are just a career office, which needs everything to be an envelope. You cannot bring a bunch of oranges on the table, says, can you take this to New York? Sorry, you have to put it in an envelope. 